Hello crypto world, today we're looking at three reasons why Bitcoin and cryptocurrency will bounce back. So Bitcoin has dropped over 50% over the past few months and month and a half and I've talked about the reasons why it crashed and some of the strategies you can use to make money during this crash um, and, and, and the market has bounced back violently in the past few days it's bounced back 15 20 percent um it's consolidating now but it bounced back heavily in in the past past few days so uh, today's video is going to be quite a long one um but this video is going to teach you more than hundreds of other youtube videos that talks about prices going to the moon so stay tuned watch till the end of the video and you will learn a lot about blockchain and the cryptocurrency world so the first reason why i think bitcoin um, and cryptocurrency are going to come back is because of blockchain blockchain if you don't know is the technology behind cryptocurrency and um, the technology behind it is revolutionary blockchain in simple terms is a public distributed ledger it's got a growing list of recorded blocks connected and uh, using crypt cryptography and it, it's got like it's got uh, it's also got the potential to have smart contracts self self executing contracts like ethereum and um, blockchain has and and the main thing that blockchain has been able to solve is in um, transacting between two parties without needing to trust a self center central government or a governing body so that is the thing that blockchain the, the main thing that blockchain is trying to solve or is solving and and blockchain obviously we know it's got a place in the uh, currency and financial services but that's not the only that's not the only usage of blockchain it's got many other uses this is the most common one that people are aware of it can be used in smart properties and um, it could be used to connect look at people's cars ownership you have a leisure have a public distributed leisure of who who've who've owned the car before um it's good for lending money it could be for car insurance um and then internet of things internet of things is really popular nowadays um it could be used to connect our phones to our um our house our, our central heating and they could all be connected using blockchain technology it's a very it's at a very preliminary stage of the, de the development but it's got the potential to do that again i've talked about internet of things that is going to be a key one and smart contracts it could be used in insurance property law crowdfunding so healthcare keeping your uh, data and record in healthcare blockchain music this is an interesting one the music landscape has changed a lot recently with moving away from cd to spotify and even youtube's quite popular so a decentralized um music industry could be quite interesting i don't know how it will work yet but it's just something that could work in the future i think the governments might be using it in the future i think government would be using it a lot and identity so having passports is quite a secure way of keeping your identity so um, that's another usage so in, in passport in wedding and birth certificates that's a very good usage and there's, there are very good infographics explaining um about uh, the usage of blockchain again some of the things that we've talked about the digital currency global payments is a big one i'm a huge huge fan of it it can solve many problems in the world people spend billions of money sending money back to africa and asia um, we sh it shouldn't cost that much money to send money to countries so this is a massive issue that um, blockchain and crypto cryptocurrencies can solve and again record keeping in healthcare ownership in cars voting this is a big one uh, blockchain is a public distributed ledger so people can see who voted so it could be used in voting intellectual properties crowdfunding derivatives in again in property equity um smart contracts trusted uh, digital rights yeah, do your own research guys i'm a huge fan of blockchain and I'll, I'll get really excited when i learn about the usage of blockchain there are many other um brilliant articles blogs infographics that talk about usage of blockchains insurance some of the things that we've already talked about tax automation i've, got, I've looked into that that's brilliant and again internet of things that's uh, one of my personal favorite ones of how how it can help and there's some brilliant articles guys um smart property 
energy markets, smart contracts again. Um, I wanted to talk about this manufacturing industry. I've got experience in this. Um, blockchain technology could be used to kind of track goods from going in and out. That's a that could solve a lot of problems in the world. And again, supply chain can be used in supply chain in, in the manufacturing industry specifically. Um, that that would be a very very good use. Audit trials is another one. Again, I'm just showing you these articles. If you want links to these articles, leave comments and I can uh, send you the links to these articles. But if you can Google it and find some of these usage and they're very interesting read. Finally, I'd like to talk about this. This is um, a very, very interesting one. It's been used to help Syrian refugees. Uh, I'm sure you've heard in the news what a big issue this is, the refugee issue. Um, in the Middle East and people, uh, refugees moving into Europe through Italy and Greece and um, this is very very refreshing to hear and this is a personal favorite of mine I've talked about it the global payment sending money to Africa can make it cheaper in Asia and uh, some of the countries where there's massive inflation like Zimbabwe or in South America Bitcoin cryptocurrency can can uh, be the savior so this is my first one, uh, blockchain technology, please do your research before you invest in Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. This is brilliant technology and I hope there's some brilliant minds in this world working on blockchain to make a positive change in this world. So the next point I'll talk about is Bitcoin crashes. Bitcoin have crashed before in, in the past. It crashed 94% after that news has come out and it's crashed massively in the past and it has come back and crashed 40% very recently in September after the China ban and, and it crashed massively in the past few months. Um, over 60% it crashed. Uh, some coins have crashed even more and um, it's just made it very difficult for money to come into the market so it's, it's crashing massively but it has come back in the past and i believe due to the technology behind it it is going to come back and i've made videos before explaining the crashes and if you understand why it crashed i believe it's nowhere near the end and bitcoin blockchain cryptocurrency will come back there are other percentages and analysis of how uh, much has crashed before and how it will come back so please do your research and understand that it has crashed before and it, these are corrections the bitcoin and cryptocurrency markets are unlike any other markets so please do your research and you can look up this article and um, this is a blog that I've, I've posted on steam it it's a decentralized blockchain another usage um of blockchain technology so yeah you can look up this article a uh, quick blog if you if you want to on steam and you can search for crypto rock so this brings me on to my final point and my personal favorite one again guys before <laughs> you guys start telling me you can't compare bitcoin to stock market and the dot com bubble they're different things so yes they are different things yeah, and it's difficult to compare cats and dogs and oranges and apples but it gives us some context to the scale of money in this world and where Bitcoin, cryptocurrency and blockchain could be considering their value, the technology, the infrastructure behind it. So please bear with me, guys. I'll try to explain my thoughts. These are these are very interesting thoughts. I, I know I want to do more research on it and I, I, I ask you to research more about it. And. And I'd love to talk about it uh, in, in greater details in, in the future and I'd look to have some interesting con conversation with you guys. So this just puts Bitcoin and cryptocurrency in in context with all the money that's in the world. So Bitcoin, again, this is a bit old. Bitcoin is at 140 billion, I believe. Yeah, 137 billion currently. And cryptocurrency is about 200 half, uh, three three. 384 billion so this is slightly old but it just still makes into puts it into contrast that all the cryptocurrency in the world is still less than amazon bill gates is worth more than all the bitcoin in the world and if you look at all the money that's in the world 83 trillion and the money in the stock market bitcoin and cryptocurrency are nowhere near nowhere near 
these these numbers and, it, and it's just less than some of the companies some of the big american companies it, all cryptocurrencies and bitcoins put together are less than the companies and and i believe it has risen sharply um it, it doesn't demand such a rise in price but in the long run it's got a long way to go and i still think it will go up massively in the long run but now considering the stage of the development of blockchain this is not a bad number to be at once if once it's developed more and it's got more usage and more value to give to people i see it uh, with a, a lot higher market cap and there's loads of other infographics articles comparing these numbers these are not figures that i've put together but it just puts it into context guys compared to facebook where cryptocurrency is paypal there's other companies that are, that are more than than bitcoin but obviously these are slightly also the, the values are a bit lower but again it just puts into context where bitcoin stands in the in the world of technology and then and, and technological companies and stock market this is another very good one. It talks about market compares the market cap with U.S. dollars and the New York Stock Exchange. Bitcoin is a very small portion compared to. Well, then this is slightly more updated version, so it will give you give you a better picture. Bitcoin, you can't really compare it with stocks because stocks um, provide value. The way it works, Bitcoin is more of currency, so you should be comparing Bitcoin to the total amount of money in this world and um, because bitcoin is not really uh, you can't really comp it's not like for like for for stock markets and companies so i think there's massive room for going up for for bitcoin if you look at average trading volume bitcoin is nowhere near where the, the trading values of values uh, volumes of some of the stock exchanges <laughs> and it also looks at the dot-com bubble and and crypto the market cap if you look at the dot-com bubble and the housing bubble where they were when it crashed to where bitcoin is it's nowhere near a bubble and i've talked about my thoughts on is bitcoin a bubble in a past video you can go look that up if you want uh, more of my thoughts this is a very interesting uh, picture it just shows you where we are compared to where the um, dot-com bubble burst at 10 trillion to looking at where the market cap is for bit uh, for cryptocurrency and bitcoin now again guys if you want to read these articles let me know and i'll send you the links these are some brilliant things to look at i really enjoy looking up and reading about this and learning more about the finance behind and the economics and macroeconomic factors and finance financial factors behind cryptocurrency and how it all works uh, Bitcoin is compared to Nasdaq market cap. Just looks at again. This is a very interesting one. The dot com bubble again, 9.3 trillion to a crypto market. Crypto market is again. This is slightly older. It's it's a lot higher now. It's at it's a lot higher than what that shows. But it just puts it into context. You can go look up those numbers. These are, these are not exact values, but if you look at it if you compare it it gives you a good context of where it is and this is something that i really enjoy looking up it looks at the values of different stock stock exchanges and stock markets around the world and there's 60 major stock exchanges that are over 69 trillion uh, which is crazy and and crypto mark cryptocurrency is not even one trillion yet so again that just puts into context how far cryptocurrency and bitcoin can go just the asian asian market 20 23000 billion uh, I, I assume the the new york stock exchange is probably bigger than most of the most of the crypt, most of the uh, stock exchanges around the world put together 80 18 and a half thousand billion um, the market cap for New York Stock Exchange. Again, this just puts into perspective some of the where Bitcoin and cryptocurrency is compared to the money and the stock market market caps. Right, those are three reasons why I think Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies will.
bounce back. I would love to hear your thoughts on it. Do, do, have you got any more reasons why you think they'll bounce back? Have you got reasons why you think it won't make and come back? Please put your comments below and now let's have a very logical and interesting discussion in the comment section. And if you've liked this video, you know what to do, guys. Like this video and subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends. And I'll be bringing you guys more content just like this. Thank you very much, guys, and see you guys soon.